Hello, so I've got and got myself one of these Nano VNAs. This is the slightly bigger version because the smaller the smaller version than the Nano VNA just seemed a bit too small. So this is the F version. It's uh, it's quite a bit bigger really. It's quite a bit bigger. So I've got it rigged up to my um, 28 meg or 10 meter homemade three element Yagi. You can see the Smith chart here. Um, the coax isn't the best. It's uh, <laughs> it's quite old. I've got some new stuff to go up when I get chance and um, when the weather's good, so I can seal it properly and whatever. So this is a two one three coax. That's oh, it's years old. It's, it's probably more than ten year old. So um, that's what's on it at the moment. So we've got the Smith chart showing, and um, um, we've got a. Impedance of uh, 52 ohms there at uh, 28.1 megahertz, which is good. So we shall um, go into VSWR. You can see the SWA curve for the VSWR curve. So um, we've got a start and a stop frequency. I've already programmed it in as 20 meg to 35. So 25 to 35 meg. Uh, twenty eight point uh, one megahertz. We've got a VSW on a one one three, one point one three. That's probably about as far as I would use the antenna up to uh, twenty eight point eight. Around built built for the SSB side of uh, ten meters. So even at uh, twenty eight point eight. Got a SWAT of 1.3, one, 1 to 1.3, and oh, a little bit too far. My finger just can't get in there. So as you can see, you can pull the you can pull the cursor up and up and down. And get myself a decent, um, <laughs> a decent one of these. Uh, I can't remember the proper name for them now, but uh, use them for touch screens. So I'll pick myself one of those up. So at twenty-eight point four, it's uh, one to one three. And it also would dip there at twenty-four point three. Point five. It's one point one eight. It's not really usable anywhere else. Um, yeah, I suppose it's okay for a listen on eleven meters, but that's about as far as it would go. But as I said, it's built for ten meters. I think it's going to need a bit of retuning when the coax goes, when the new coax goes back on. So um, back to the Smith chart, you can see it there. So um, yeah, quite a useful thing. I'm still getting used to um, using it. Get rid of uh, that trace. Bring that one up. Get rid of, the, of that trace there. Cleans it up a bit. So you can see the SWAR curve or the VSWR curve. Quite a useful, uh, quite a useful tool. Got it for other things in this as well, for filters and stuff like that, which I want to build. So I know hardly anything about the Nano VNA. So it's going to be uh, quite a bit of a learning curve and uh, quite a bit of reading up and watching videos on it and whatever. But. Um, Quite a useful tool so far. Thanks for watching.